uh, each and everything like um, SAP, FICU, enterprise structure and global settings. And the next one is uh, uh, global settings and the general ledger configurations. Now what we need to do is uh, we will going to create one account. OK, one account uh, that is GL accounts. Can you go to the transaction code FS00 power? Yes, click on the enter. See. Uh, you have. Uh, see here you have edit the financial statement versions and edit set, but you don't have edit cost elements. You have only time dependent attributes. OK, all of you, please try to remember the things, the changes and all. OK, good. OK, you do one thing, Pawan. Can you go to the create option? Hmm. Create option or else before we create the GL accounts in all. OK, can you go to the OBD for transaction code? And what is the administration cost? Can you give slash in here and go to the OBD for transaction code? Yes, can you go to the position and give your chart of account? And uh, what is the thing? Administration cost is a four double zero three double zero. Can you give slash in? If it's double zero. OK, go to the create option and take out the for uh, GL account four double zero three double zero. OK, and the company code is ship. OK, can you go to the continue option? OK, now I mean when you go to the save button automatically you will going to get it. OK, uh, take out the GL account type is a. Uh, no, no, no. Take out that one GL account type. It is a profit and loss accounts, right? Uh, that is uh, primary cost is or revenue. No, 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 primary cost is or revenue. OK, can you take out the account group? OK, see we have this. Uh, uh, changes in the GL account type control uh, in chart of accounts. OK, that is operating chart of accounts and all you will going to find out all these things, right? So you have to take out the primary cost is or revenues and in the short text you can just take uh, administration cost is a rent account. Anything rent account. Whatever the configurations that we have done for the ECC, we will going to do all these things in SAP S4 HANA also. OK, GL account long text is a a rent account. Can you go to the control data? Go to the control data. OK, uh, line item display. Dot key is, see, there is no any line item display. OK, all of you and we have only open item management and the sort key is double zero one. That is the posting. Go to the create option. Go to the create or bank interest and gives field status group as the double zero one. That is general data. All right. Click on the enter. Go to the save button and save it. Uh, no need to give anything. Go to the save button and save it. OK, now uh, this data has been copied, right? And can you give slash in? Yes, slash in. Go to the FS00 transaction code. OK, see there is the administration cost. See, based on this thing only, we will going to create the, uh, what is the thing? Bank account. Can you go to the slash in OBD for transaction code and go to the current assets and liability, uh, sorry, current assets account group? We will going to check it. Go to the position and give the chart of account. And come down. There is a current assets two double zero one double zero. Yes, come okay. Come back to the FS double zero transaction code, and we will going to take out the one. Uh, what is the thing? ICC bank account or uh, HDFC bank account or anything. Go to the company code and give the GL account type as a balance sheet account. Okay, all of you. And the account group is a uh, current assets. Okay, G uh, short text is a. Uh, HDFC bank account and the long text is a GL long text is a HDFC bank account. OK, go to the control data. Go to the control data. OK, and go give the sort key as double zero one. We don't have any line item display in SAP S4 HANA. Please try to remember the things and go to the field status group. Give the Z double zero one. Click on the enter. Go to the save button and save it. Mm, it is throwing an error that is keep all these things in a balance sheets. OK, sorry in local currencies. OK, can you go up? Go up. Up. Go up. Or else uh, yes, go up. OK, see what we need to do is can you go to the change option Pawan? Go to the change option. OK, 
Now you can just put balances in local currency only. Okay, just give tick mark, go to the save button and save it. Now we will going to see whether the thing, I, I mean, whether this real account is showing an error or not. There is no any error. Okay, what the thing? Can you give slash in? Can you give slash in? And then what we need to do is we will go into post one error, use, uh, sorry, one entry using transaction code EFB50. Can you go to the transaction code EFB50 phone? Uh, give your company code. Okay, invoice date is this, and the document header text is rent invoice. A rent invoice. Okay, and the GL account is, take out the GL account that you have created here. Take out the GL account that you have created here. Okay, and take out the rent account that is debit and credit is uh, HDFC bank account. Amount in local currencies is anything. Mm. Take out the GL account. Take out the GL account. Yes. Okay, and the, uh, this is the credit. Okay, and the amount in document currency is a 5000. Click on the enter, go to the save button and save it. Assimilate. OK, go to the save button and save it. OK. So correct the customizing settings for ledgers uh, for the universal journal. OK. Can you open this thing? OK, and what is the thing that we have? There are inconsistencies in the current customizing settings for ledgers for the universal journal ledger. To prevent the databases, postings are not allowed as long as the customizing settings are not consistent. Check the customizing settings using transactions. Uh, F I N C underscore customs underscore OK. Using transaction. OK, can you take out that uh, transaction phone? Mm. Go to the transaction. Or else we will use the one transaction. Code. Yes. Or else copy that uh, transaction code. Copy that transaction. Copy the Give me one second, Bob. We will use one transaction code. There is one. So uh, how many errors that we have? 18,532 errors that we have. OK, so these are the customized uh, uh, entries that we have on. OK, then what we need to do here is. Give me one second.
one minute pawn we will going to change each and everything Okay, Pawan, we need to uh, set the, I mean, each and every general I ledger, sir. Okay, that is the main important. Uh, uh, that thing is here. What we need to do is. Direct the customer. Universal general. Okay, so can you give a here? So, which table or this data, uh, data or existed table? Very, very important, right? In that thing, when it comes to the ECC and all, I mean, in the ECC and all, uh, we are not going to find anything. Okay. And the uh, uh, ledgers are automatically configured in SAP SA, uh, ECC. But when it comes to the SAP S for HANA, we don't have any, uh, I mean, configurations things, but we have to configure each and everything. Okay, so these things are mandatory, right? So then next to what we need to do is we will use one transaction code. Okay, what is the transaction code that we have here? Uh, I think. Uh, what is the? things that we have. we have some more errors so come on. Okay, you do one thing Pawan. can you go to the transaction code fb50 once again and you can just uh, post each and everything and we will going to uh, do the ledges okay we will going to identify the ledges so that we will going to get clear cut understanding and customizing is inconsistent that is why posting of general entries are not at all possible that is the main error i think so Can you go to the save button? And once again, it is showing an error. Okay, good. And uh, check the customizing settings using transaction. Yes, then the custom. Okay, in interview point of view only, they will going to ask you these questions. That is correct customizing settings for ledgers. Okay, first of all, uh, we have to check with the post period. Uh, okay, can you go to the transaction code? Uh, uh, posting period assign transaction code using uh, company and all. Can you remove this thing? Yes, can you go to the slash in? Uh, can you give this uh, transaction code? What is the transaction code that we have? First, we need to check with the posting period only for one. Can you go to the transaction code OBBP? And we have to see whether this posting period is assigned to the particular uh, company code or not posting period variant. OK, the ship is also assigned. There is no any issue. And then next one here is. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
what we need to do here is that this is a universal generation. I think so. So, correct the customized process. Still, still we are facing the error, right? Right. Mm. What to do is this and all. Is. <clears throat> I'm going to have one transaction code for one. What does the transaction code mean? So, can you give one transaction code for one? That is uh, F I N S C F I N S C underscore underscore ledger L E D G E R. Okay, this is uh, based on the customizing ledgers only, right? So that is why it is showing an error. Okay, I think so. Yes, based on this thing only. We are going to see it. I think I mean all these tables of the uh, ledgers are not there in the FI underscore FINC underscore custom underscore CON and all and it will be there in the FINC underscore ledger. OK, we will going to find out these things. OK. Now what we need to do. It's taking too much of time. OK, Bon. So can you continue this thing? Can you continue this thing? Missing companies have been updated. OK, and uh, here can you come down? So see, you can just see this is a oil okay ledger oil that is leading ledgers and all okay ledger ol can you come down pawn or else go to the position and give oil see our extension ledger is oil only go up go up uh, or else go up see we will have leading ledgers pawn okay and we have to uh, we have to I mean, uh, complete each and every error. OK, can you take out this leading ledgers? Yes, select this thing. And can you go to the company code settings for uh, this thing? Come down. Mm, company code settings for the ledgers. Uh, double click on this thing. OK, we have to see whether this posting period variant or fiscal year variant is assigned to the particular thing or not. Ah, can you go to the continue option? Can you go to the continue option? Uh, go to the position per one and give your company code. Now we will going to see whether uh, this comp I mean this ledger is uh, being assigned to the particular uh, company code or not. 
Okay, then we will going to find out. Then we will going to find out. Okay, no issue. Can you give your company code pound? Uh, ship. Click on the continue option. In SAP S4 HANA, it will take too much of time. Okay, good. So can you drag it to the right side, Pawan? And drag it to the right side and we will go into find out the uh, posting fiscal year variant is assigned. Okay, and the posting period variant is assigned. Okay. Good. All right. Okay, this has been assigned, right? I think so. In the transaction code, we have assigned all these things, right, Pawan? And posting period variant and the physical year variant that we have for the uh, ledger oil. Okay, can you click on the enter, go to the save button and save it? Click on the enter, go to the save button and save it. Uh, save this thing. Voice break out, na? Okay, na? It's taking too much of time. Hmm. Already we have assigned the physical year variant. Then posting period variant we have assigned to the particular general ledgers. Okay. Okay, can you go to the continue option, Pawan? Continue. And we have to see it, Pawan. Okay. I mean, we have assigned each and everything, but uh, why this error is showing? Okay, can you give a slash in here? Go to the FB50 transaction code. Go to the transaction code FB50. Go to the transaction code FB50. Go to the FB50 transaction code and we will go to see all these errors. Uh, I think we have assigned the posting period variant and fiscal year variant also. Then why it is showing the error? No worries, we will do it. And debit and credit. Okay, and uh, account currency is 1000, anything. Anything that you want to give, you can give. Go to the simulate option. Oh. Uh, go to the save button. Now it is showing an error. There is no open item category. Now uh, the system is not going to give the anything. Okay, Pawan. Okay, can you remove this thing? Can you go to the create or uh, new sessions and all? See all these tables, all these group currencies, and all these things are uh, uh, particularly, uh, I mean, loaded in the. FINC underscore FINSC underscore ledger only. 
go to the SM30. Go to the SM30. Okay, can you give V underscore? Yeah, FAGL underscore. Click underscore act. Click underscore act. Act. Can you go to the maintain option? Hmm. Go to the position. See, we have done. We have not done with the document splitting configurations and all. So that is why we are just deactivating each and everything. Okay. Can you go to the uh, save button and save it? We are deactivating this uh, thing. Okay. Give slash in. Give slash in. Uh, go to the FB50 transaction code, and we will going to see whether this thing is uh, Universal Journal is going to uh, throw you an error or not. Go to the uh, debit and credit. Amount in currency. Yes. Anything. Click on the enter. Go to the simulate option. Go to the save button and save it. Okay. So this document was posted in a company code. Can you go to the transaction code FBL 3N for one? Go to the transaction code FBL 3N. See, Pawan, the most important thing here is. Whenever they ask about any questions on the universal general ledgers and all, okay, all these things are stored in the FINC NSC underscore ledger only, okay. So that is the main important uh, configuration. I mean, this is not the configuration, this is just the thing. See, if you do the configuration properly, and that should be assigned to the particular leading ledgers, okay, that is OILs and all, okay. No need to worry. All right, can you decode this thing and go to the continue option? Go to the continue option. Yes. Two double zero, one double zero. Okay, is for the two thousand rupees. And come back and take out the four double zero, three double zero. This, this is just an entry. Okay, four double zero, three double zero. Click on the enter. Oh. Go to the continue option. Now you got the thing right. Okay, this is how we can post the GL accounts. Uh, then next one is uh, we will going to. Uh, I mean, do the configurations for the business partners. The next one is vendor master records and customer master records. So that is very, very important in this configuration. Okay, all of you. So in the next session, you will going to get each and everything.